what I'm going to do is pull ups into push ups 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. However, during times like these, you need to remember to uh, disinfect all your equipment before and after use. So I brought my wipes with me. And that one. And then we can get going. Fall by my head again. world the pull-ups kill you right i'm going to take you through a few regressions for your pull-ups to start with so first one is you saw me do this a couple of times it's just use a little bit of bounce off your toes to help you providing you can reach so from there a bit of a bounce up pull makes it a bit harder than uh, a bit easier sorry than doing it from a dead stop all the time Add a little bit more momentum into it to make it a little bit easier. You can put a bit of a jump, don't bang your head like I did, which you'll see in the outtake. Alright, so from there, jump and pull. Okay, easy peasy. Uh, last advancement from the pull up perspective is to jump even higher and just focus on that lowering phase of the movement. So have a big jump, hold and then just control on the way down. Jump and control. Last advance, last regression, we come over here. Is to switch it out for like a, in the gym, like TRX rows, we call them Aussie pull ups. So hands apart, okay, feet out in front. I'm going to take you through a few regressions for them. Obviously, I'll start off with your, your normal push up. So, hands at shoulder width, like a plank, down till your chest touches the floor, back up. First regression for that, drop to your knees, okay? Everything else stays exactly the same, okay? Chest to the floor, squeeze those shoulder blades together on your way down. You want to make it a bit easier, bring it until your knees are underneath your hips, turn it into a box push up. like these you can use these for push-ups as well obviously this one is going to be the easiest but everything else chest to the handles and back up as you get closer towards the floor the harder it gets all the teaching points remain the same until you 
you get to the lowest ones, at which point you're not far off doing a full push up anyway by the time you're here. Okay, just always remember chest to the floor or chest in between your hands, head in front of your hands, squeeze those shoulder blades on the way down, and that's it, done. Okay, there is Phil's back workout. Wow, that actually looked really hard. So you can see what Phil did there. He went, he chose two exercises, two pretty um, compound movements, really. If you think pull ups and press ups, using obviously all your pushing muscles and your pulling muscles, you're getting a really good workout in there, you're getting loads and loads of joints working, loads of muscles working. So what he chose to do there is start at 10 and go all the way down to one. Now, I think that took him about 12 minutes. If you wanted to, you wanted to make it longer, what you could do if you're a real sadomasochist, you could go back from one back up to 10 again. So there's loads of ways to do it. You can vary it up in different ways just to get more of a challenging workout to make it shorter or longer. So up to you. But I hope you enjoyed that and just gave you another idea. Um, you don't have to do it in the park. You don't have to use that equipment. You might be able to adapt it and do it at home. Um, and there's ways on some of my previous, video, previous videos I've showed you how you can do pull-ups albeit a bit precarious, using two chairs and a bar, so that there is ways to do it at home should you wish to stay at home and do it. Anyway, guys, that's that's Phil's video done for today. So it'll be down to me again next time. Um, so as, as I've already said, I don't want to be like a broken record, but I'm going to do get up a, a quad workout next. I think that'll be my next task. Um, and I think Phil's got a protein bar recipe in the offing. So I'm looking forward to seeing that. Uh, other than that, all to say is like and subscribe. We always say it, but please do it. If there's any of you, any of these videos that you've done and you've enjoyed, share them on your social media and let more people know. There could be someone in your family that also loves to do this workout, was struggling for ideas. So spread the word. You know, let's get. We're spending a lot of time on these videos. We'd love to get them out to as many people as possible. So yeah, thanks again, guys. Really appreciate the support, and we'll see you in the next one.